Hello, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Bolad. Today I will talk to you about the heart healthy diets. For those who are new to my channel, I'm a board certified cardiologist and interventional cardiologist. And here on this channel, you will find lots of information about heart health and heart disease. So if you are interested, don't forget to subscribe and switch on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post. So let's get started with this video about heart healthy diets. Poor diet is the leading cause of death in the United States, causing more deaths than tobacco smoking, high blood pressure and obesity. Decades of research showed strong links between many diet components and eating patterns and important health outcomes. Considerable evidence shows that healthy food choices can extend longevity and reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, high blood pressure and cancer. A heart healthy diet can also help with weight management and improve heart related quality of life. With such a broad impact, population-wide improvements in diet could have substantial impact on healthcare costs. In 2019, analysis using the United States National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, it was estimated that the total amount of costs related to poor diet to be about 50 billion US dollars. Obesity-related medical costs have been estimated at 150 billion US dollars per year. Specific dietary guidelines may vary, but in general, a high quality, healthy diet emphasizes a greater intake of fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, and whole grains, and emphasizes limited consumption of red and processed meats, unhealthy fat, sugar, sodium, and alcohol. This pattern is consistent with that generally recommended by the World Health Organization, the World Cancer Research Fund, the American Cancer Society and that recommended by the US Department of Agriculture. In addition to multiple disease specific benefits, results of meta analyses and individual observational studies have found consistent association between this dietary pattern and decreased deaths. The evidence evaluating specific dietary patterns can vary substantially. Although Long-term randomized control trials are often absent. Observational studies support the association of health benefits with a number of dietary patterns. I will now discuss the commonest recommended five diets. Most of the dietary patterns I discuss here share some similarities. A Mediterranean diet is typically high in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, nuts, and seeds, and includes olive oil, as an important source of monounsaturated fat and allows low to moderate wine consumption. It also generally includes low to moderate amounts of fish, poultry, and dairy products. In observational studies, a Mediterranean diet has been associated with lower overall deaths and cardiovascular deaths, as well as decreased incidence of Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and cancers, including colorectal, prostate, oropharyngeal, and breast cancers. In the 2022 CardioPref trial, which included over 1,000 adults with coronary heart disease and was conducted in Spain, Randomization to a Mediterranean diet resulted in fewer heart attacks, coronary stenting and bypass surgery, ischemic stroke, peripheral arterial disease, 
and cardiovascular deaths compared to his low fat diet at seven years follow up. The dietary approach to stop hypertension, known as the DASH diet, is comprised of four to five servings of fruit, four to five servings of vegetables, and two to three servings of low fat dairy per day, with less than 25% of daily caloric intake from fat. The DASH diet has been studied in people with normal blood pressure and in those with high blood pressure and has found to lower systolic and diastolic blood pressure more than diet rich in fruits and vegetables alone. The combination of low sodium and DASH diet resulted in further decrease in blood pressure comparable to those observed with blood pressure medications. The DASH diet has also been associated with a lower risk of colorectal cancer, cardiovascular disease, premature death, and gout. Plant-based diets, which include vegetarian diets, focus on the consumption of cereals, fruits, vegetables, legumes, and nuts, with the restriction of animal-based foods, including meat, dairy products, and eggs. The degree of animal food restriction in plant-based eating varies considerably. Vegan diets exclude all animal-based foods, while less restrictive approaches can include eggs, dairy products, and some meat. Selected plant-based diets may be grouped as follows. Vegan, all animal products including eggs, milk, milk products are excluded from the diet. Some vegans do not use honey and may refrain from using animal products such as leather or wool. They also may avoid foods that are processed or not organically grown. Lacto-vegetarian Milk and milk products are included in the diet, but no eggs or meat are consumed. Lacto-ovo-vegetarian Eggs, milk and milk products are included, but no meat is consumed. Semi-vegetarian, also known as flexitarian, meat occasionally is included in the diet. Some people who follow such a diet may not eat red meat, but may eat fish and chicken. Of note, the Mediterranean diet could be considered as a semi-vegetarian plant-based diet. Macrobiotic, vegetables, fruits, legumes, and seaweeds are included in the diet, while whole grain, especially brown rice, are also emphasized. Locally grown fruits are recommended. Animal foods are generally limited to white meat or fish, which may be included in the diet once or twice a week. The long-term effects of a plant-based diet on health outcomes may be difficult to separate from those behaviors associated with a plant-based diet, such as regular exercise, avoidance of tobacco and alcohol products. However, observational Studies suggest that consumption of plant-based diets and vegetarian diet is associated with lower risk of obesity, coronary heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, certain cancers, and all-cause deaths. Results of randomized trials have found a beneficial impact of vegetarian diets on a number of cardiovascular risk factors. The nutritional adequacy and quality of plant-based and vegetarian diets should be judged individually. Some studies suggest that vegans who exclude all animal-based products, including dairy products, in their diet may have lower bone mineral density and high fracture risk due to lower intake of calcium. In addition, individuals who eat a vegan diet may also have inadequate vitamin B12 intake and may need to take vitamin B12 supplements. Low-fat diets focus on limiting calories from fat. Some approaches are very low-fat with calories from fat less than 10% of the total calories. Others are more moderate with less than 30% of daily caloric intake from fat. Most evidence also points to little or no health or mortality benefit from a low-fat dietary pattern. Individuals choosing a reduced fat diet should focus on food quality in addition to fat content. Studies found that unhealthy low-fat diet was associated with a modest increase of total deaths 
while a healthy low fat diet was associated with a modest decrease in total deaths. Low fat diets are often considered help a strategy to lose weight. However, results are mixed on their weight control benefits compared with diets with greater amount of fat. Low cholesterol diets focus on limiting the amount of dietary cholesterol which can be found in higher levels in foods such as certain shellfish, full fat dairy and eggs, while elevated serum levels of low density lipoprotein protein cholesterol are an established risk factor for the development of cardiovascular disease. The relationship between dietary cholesterol intake and cardiovascular disease is less certain because of their cholesterol contents, eggs have often been restricted in low cholesterol diets. Generally, studies have shown no association between daily intake of eggs and the risk of cardiovascular disease. If you have any question about what I presented to you today, then subscribe to my channel and share your question in the comment section below and I will reply to you. If you have a question that you would not like to share in public, then follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Dr. Bolad and then send me a private direct message and I will reply to you. If you found value in this video, then please like and share this video with family and friends. This is Dr. Bolad helping you with your heart health. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.